Hey guys, it's Kay. Now I recently did a video on my favourite apps on the Hisense TV. Now it got a relatively good response. So in this video I thought I'd go one step further and cover the multimedia streaming apps available on the Hisense TV. Now this covers Amazon Prime, Netflix, Freeview and YouTube and various other apps. So without further ado, let's get on with this. Okay guys, the first app I'm looking at is the Amazon Prime Video app. Now this is a streaming service like Netflix, so you need a monthly subscription to Amazon Prime to access it. The Amazon Video app comes pre-installed on your Hisense TV, and you even get a shortcut button on your remote control, which gives you direct access to Amazon Prime Video. It offers a growing library of quality original content, and a ton of popular movies and TV shows to stream. The homepage is a decent place to find content, but you can use the search bar to find specific content by title, genre, release date, or channel. If you see something that interests you, you can start streaming immediately, or you can add it to your watch list. Your watch list is just an easy way to keep track of the shows and movies you want to revisit at a later time. So to summarise, the Amazon Prime Video app on the Hisense TV is a great app and is one of my favourites. It offers streaming video quality up to Ultra HD, sound quality up to 5.1 surround sound, and the subscription cost of Amazon Prime is great value, bearing in mind the other benefits you get from Amazon Prime membership. My next app on the Hisense TV is YouTube. YouTube offers entertainment and informative content from all over the world. So the YouTube app comes pre-installed on your Hisense TV and you also have a dedicated YouTube button on your remote control for instant access. Now we all know YouTube, but the features that stand out here is that you can log into your account and view your subscriptions and your recommendations. You can also subscribe to channels from the app and like and dislike videos and you can watch videos in up to 4K resolution. Also a nice little feature in the app is that if you hover over a video thumbnail it will play a small preview of the video. Now, the next app I want to talk about is Freeview Play. Freeview Play is a UView-like electronic program guide, EPG for short, that lets you browse forward to see what's coming up in the week ahead and scroll back to see shows from the previous one. Now, the great thing here is it combines both catch-up and non-demand television into one easy view EPG, making it far easier to find your favourite programmes. Plus, if your TV set or your set-top box is connected to the internet, you can go backwards in the guide to catch up on programs you've missed over the past seven days. It's quick and easy to jump into Freeview Play. Just press the designated button on your remote control. The clean looking EPG shows you what's available up to a week ahead across several channels at any one time. Information is displayed on what each program is about. Overall, Freeview Play is a generally well designed, versatile and easy to use TV EPG. If you wish, you can even go into each channel's individual player app. For example, here's Horrorbytes, which is a newer channel that's just been added. And as the title suggests, it's full of horror movies and horror flicks. And I must say there are some right little gems here, some going back quite a few years. The next app I want to look at is Rakuten TV. Now, the Rakuten TV service is like a traditional video store, letting users buy or rent shows, movies and other content on demand. It's a simple, no obligation way to access and enjoy content when you want and however you want. There's no contracts, no setup costs, no obligations and no membership fees. You just simply pick a film, TV series or other content and pay a small one-off fee. It's like an online video store but with a more extensive library, an immediate sign-up and download. And last and by no means least is the UK TV Play app. UK TV Play is a free on-demand TV service. It includes the categories comedy, drama, entertainment and documentaries from channels like Dave, Drama and Yesterday. There's also shows available from channels like W, Alibi, Gold and Eden but these are only available as part of a paid subscription. Oh, and did I also mention the Hisense TV has the Netflix app? Now, everybody's heard of Netflix, so it probably doesn't need an introduction. In summary, the service is very good value for unlimited video streaming. It's got a huge catalogue of content, including high-quality original programming, family-friendly videos, and parenting controls. Now, I would have given you a walkthrough on my Hisense TV, but I simply don't have a subscription. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful or useful, give us a subscribe and even a like would be helpful. And I hope to see you all in the next video shortly.